you know, you can make a snowball out of it and throw it at somebody and it just bounces off. It's good for stress relief. You can do it like this, see, you yeah. make some stress relief action going oh, no. on. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiny Boy DIY. Uh, obviously it's after Christmas. Um, did anybody else besides us get a bunch of glue for Christmas and so excited to make some slime? Because that's what Liv's been dying to do. Even though Mama's not happy about all the <laughs> slime making going on. So Liv's gonna guide us through how to make slime. We're gonna do it the safe way. So this will be easy for your kids. All it is is three ingredients. It's the glue, which you can use white glue or clear glue. Uh, the contact solution is going to come last, last, but it has to have bor uh, boric acid in it. So if you have contact solution, it's a multi-purpose solution. Some of them don't have the boric acid, so make sure you get the one with the boric acid. And baking powder. That's the one thing that, uh, that you're going to need at the beginning. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to mix the glue and the baking powder in the bowl. Yeah. To get that all mixed up, then we're going to add, you can add glitters or colors, so you can add that. Right. So you want to guide us on the... What we're gonna do if you want to start okay so first you add your glue in it could be um it has to be elmer's glue or it could be like other glues but that's okay you gotta take the cap off so we just so if you have long sleeve shirts make sure you put your sleeves up because it gets messy sometimes so so we're gonna do um obviously the rest there's a recipe if you want to do a certain amount like a cup or two cups we're dumping in kind of like a cup at a time here and we're going to mix it up but uh, on average I would say a cup and a tablespoon of baking soda is, is about what you want so if you're going to do more than that make sure you add you know extra tablespoons. So that's the glue. Yep. So now we'll do some baking soda right? Yep. Let me do mine here. You don't do too much baking soda. We're gonna do like a tablespoon. Yeah. Because we both have about a cup in here, so. So then you do that. Then what you do is you just mix the t the uh, baking powder into the glue. Until it's fully mixed in. This it makes it real nice and good. So then you see how this is. Uh, you'll see the baking powder. Is, you know it's powdery, so when it mixes yeah. up, you'll know when it's mixed in. Mm -hmm. Just like that. This is super easy. So I like to use plastic utensils because that way they're easy to clean off afterwards and it mixes it. So once you do that then what you want to do is grab some food colorings. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do some weird color. I'm going to mix like green and purple I think into mine. Okay, I think I'm going to do pink. So we'll put a little bit of that in. You can add like three drops that would probably make it. Just like that, and then I'm gonna mix it up. So again, I'll just mix it up. Let's see what kind of crazy color we get out of this. Oh boy, look at that. That's Mine like is a, like a hot pink. Yeah, I'm getting like striped, striped glue here. <laughs> it's different. Look at, it's like a, I don't know, purpley. Lavender. I'd Mine say. is like a hot pink, like like really light like hot pink sort of thing. Right there. So that's mixed. What'd you do, pink? Yeah. Okay, we got like a matching combination of colors here. Pink and lavender. So once you get the color mixed in real good, then what you want to do is we gotta add the contact solution. So what you do here is it's about a tablespoon, so Usually what I like to do is I like to drizzle it in around the edges. Because then it gets all the glue off the sides. And then what happens is this will, you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to start solidifying into here. And then you'll end up, once you mix it up, you'll see it starts, see how it's starting to not get sticky anymore. And then what you have to yeah, do is you just have to peel apart at the edges. You add the glitter last if you add glitter. If you want if you don't want to add glitter, you don't have to because you don't really need it. You can see I'm starting to peel away at the edges here. Get it all Oops. to form into like a ball. Okay. And 
then as it goes, it'll start working itself in. So then once you get to a point, I'm going to add a little bit more. Can I have a little more contact solution yeah. for me? And I'm just going to put a little bit more in here. And then what will happen is it'll start forming into slime. Yeah. Once it's completely slime, you you can start like kneading it and is, stuff. Yeah, we can start taking it off here. Now. I'm actually, I, I might need more. Um, See how it goes here. So what you do is just put a little bit more. Just like that. So as it gets stickier, you'll see it starts still sticking to my hand. So what we want to do is just keep adding a little bit of contact solution until it's not sticky anymore. And if you don't want to get your hand super sticky, you can keep on stirring it until it gets Can you like, spritz a little bit on it? Yeah. Until it gets to like where it's not really sticky at all. Then you can start kneading it and stuff. I think you'll notice it'll start you'll be able to start pulling it off of your fingers too yeah. as you get more and more see how it's just peeling off okay. so that's what happens as you and then once you get to the point where it's just a little bit sticky but it starts coming off your fingers then you know it's just right like you can just keep doing this and you see how it's just now it's just coming off of my when I stick it it's sticky but it just comes right off so that's it once you get to that point then you have your ball of slime and then you can play with it and you can put it on people's faces <laughs> <laughs> and then you can make bubbles I guess the kids right you make yeah. bubbles like this you stretch it out and if you, you can put them on the I'll show you when I'm done and with then this. if there's still more in the bowl you can kind of just roll this around in there and get the rest of it off the spoon you just it's like it just keeps attaching itself to whatever there is so you see, it just keeps, you just roll it around down there. Okay. Get all this out of the bowl. Mine is so soft and stretchy. Mine is And there you go. And like you said, we can add, you can add glitters, you can add colors, whatever color you want. Mm. And there you go. You get yourself some slime to play with. Yep. Over and over again. Now, if you're going to, if you're going to keep it, uh, usually use like a Ziploc bag or if you have like a little Tupperware container or something like that, it works perfect. Yeah. But that's what I would do. And then you just stick it on people. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to add some glitter. You're going to put some glitter in yours? Yeah. I'm just going to pound on mine. So it flattens. And make a pizza. Just okay, like I'm going to put silver in because I right. feel like it. Oh, look at that. That's really stretchy. Mine is sticky too. A oh, and then if you want, sometimes people make fluffy slime, and you can actually add like uh, some cream. shaving cream to it in the process. What you do is just mix that in in the beginning when you do the do the baking soda, and then after the baking soda, you can just put in a little shaving cream. It'll actually make a fluffier amount. Um, so it's all your preference. And then, I mean, there's glow in the dark. You can buy glow in the dark glue. Last time we did that, we just put like half of a bottle of glow in the dark, you know, like a four ounce bottle in. And it actually works really good. You have to use like a lighter color though. If you use a lighter color, it's really good. Yeah. That's about it. Um, you know, you can make a snowball out of it and <laughs> throw it at somebody and it just bounces off. And you can see it's actually kind of bouncy, it's which is kind of like funny. It's okay. really, Look at mine. It's, it's good for stress ball. relief. You can do it like this, see, yeah. you make some stress relief action going oh, no. on. Just like that. So if you want your mom to be crazy, make some slime. Yeah. Everybody loves it, except for mom, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So she that's it. Like we'll it. see you in the next video, and thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and make some slime, okay? Bye.